Yo, what's poppin' legends? It's your boy Owls here, bringing up a banger of videos. As always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, comment, share, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. And please, please, please follow me on Twitch, where I'll be live sometime around now, because season 10, you know, I've been lacking the uploads, I've been lacking the streams. But season 10, I am going to be properly streaming. I am going to be properly making videos. It is a grind. We're aiming for 10 to 15,000 subscribers. It, it is a push. It is a massive push. But if we get some videos that blow up, we could do absolute bits. But yeah, these are my settings. These are what I think are the best settings Apex Legends. You know, these clips are here to not only entertain you to make you watch the video, but also for you to realize that, oh, these aren't bad settings. These are settings that L's YT uses. Like a good player, a solo queue player to Masters, a, a solo queue player to Diamond. A, a good player, 21-4K, I don't really need to show you and all that, you can basically see it from the clips, um, I've kind of just put a mash together, put some alright clips here and there, but uh, yeah, it's a good, good bunch of clips, hopefully you do enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Do, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay, let's get it, so interact prompt style, have that as default, button hints, have it as off, crosshair damage feedback, X. W slash shield icon, damage numbers stacking, some people have it as floating, some people have it as both. The best one is stacking, because if you're floating, it's like this, the, the numbers just go up. You can't say, oh yeah, I've hit him for this, 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 and that. If you have both on, it's just awkward, because it just makes it look like you've done so much damage when you haven't, and you might be giving your teammates like the wrong comms. So always have it on stacking, because no matter how much damage you've done, you can always get an accurate number. So say if I'm like, oh yeah, I've done this man damage, 71, he's lit, you know, you can go and push that that's an easy like kill with a massive thing whereas if you've got it on uh floating you have no idea how much you've done obviously this game's dumb this is to the health but like you have no idea how much you've done in a real game um ping uh opacity i haven't faded i don't have it on default i think faded's better uh this i have it as off um minimap rotation have it as off this it really does not help uh, weapon auto cycle on auto sprint. I have this on just my controller. Double tap auto sprint. Have that off, but have auto sprint on because if you have double tap, then obviously you have to click your uh, left stick twice to move. Um, jetpack control. Obviously, that's up to you. personal preference. I have it on toggle. It's probably the best one because if you have it on hold, then you're just gonna go flying. Like on the scene, I see the moon, mate. Go with Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, whatever you want to do. Incoming damage feedback. I have it on 3D. Taking damage close. I have no idea that this is even um, a setting. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, hop up, have that on. Streamer modes. Uh, it depends if I have a lot of people watching, but I never do, so I just have it as off. Anonymous mode disabled. See, that's if you want to be anonymous. You should sharing. I have that as an enabled. And then, yeah, literally anything else you want to put on here. This is this is kind of personal preference. This is like the main bit. Um, if you want to have um, like a like slight little uh, cheat, should we say, in the system? Then switch to the setting Tranopia. Um, your cursor is a uh, literally just a yellow dot. So when you're shooting someone, see that it's yellow. So that's probably like the best setting out of all of these. Wolves. It depends because basically everything is the same apart from the top three. That's the only thing that's different out of them but uh, yeah I have it off subtitles whatever you want that's the subtitle size converting uh, incoming voice to chat text uh, if you want it on and off and it just pops up on the side of your screen like somewhere over here when they talk now let's move on to the controller settings let's get it okay the controller settings this is like the main part that everybody wants to watch and look at so we're going to be covering it all and starting with button layout i have it on button puncher um the difference between default is that i can loot boxes my um melee is circle where and my crouch button is the right stick so i can look i can constantly like spam whilst i'm shooting whereas you know if i was on default i'd have to press circle and then that um, I lose space in the controller unless you're playing claw like the only way you could do it is if you're playing claw like I'm right now like I can play claw on default but that's it like yeah so make sure you switch to button puncher now remember guys some pros do use these settings which is pretty mad so yeah I'm um, gotta add that in there the pros do actually use these settings and think they're useful so that's pretty crazy um, interact reload button I have that tap to Tap to use to reload, stick out layout, um, I have that as default, 
the crouch button make sure you always have it on toggle if you have it on hold you're an absolute psycho it is not helping you whatsoever and that's probably why you're losing most of your fights because you can't spam crouch um uh, aim button have it on hold uh, survival slot button I have this on off LTR2 de button dead zones have a none menu cursor speed I like to have it not too fast because if you have it really fast and obviously you can't do your boxes etc um, I do so with the ALCs it's like it's not that I don't use um, these ones like the basic ones it's just that you know I feel like ALC to me is more um, is more useful you know what I mean like so like AOC you can do a lot more customization whereas the basic control settings you know you can't really do loads with but I have look sensitivity as four look ADS as four per optic settings you can just take a look at all of these um, nothing crazy they're literally basically just the same uh, first optics four and then three three five 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 pause video if you want to um, response curve I have is classic look dead zone I have is none if you have control the controller drift or stick drift sorry have it as small or large depending on how bad it is boom dead zone same thing small or large by on small so I have a new controller luckily inverted look have it's off vibration I have this baby as off if you play a vibration then you're missing out on a lot of gameplay and probably gonna slow yourself down um, now the thing you've all been waiting for advanced looks let's get it dead zone I have this on five I do tend to change from five to three but I have a little bit of tinted like the smallest bit of stick drift so if you have it on three then you probably have no stick drift but you're gonna find for some reason even if you put it on three you will find that it's gonna make you have stick drift so always leave it on five is by far the best one out of threshold have to change it from anywhere what I recommend anywhere from one to five. Um, response curve, same with this. Change it from anywhere from eight to twelve. Um, I like to keep it on ten. It might be the you know the one that they recommend, but I obviously just like to keep it on that. Uh, your speed. The higher you have your sense, by the way. So if I have my okay, the higher I have my sense. If I have a really high sense, it's harder to aim in. Whereas if I have a slower sense, then it's easier to aim in. That is why you see a lot of pro players like controller players controller player yeah a lot of controller players they have a low sense and this is because they want to have the best aim possible i do tend to switch this around from anywhere from 250 all up to 280 but at the moment i like 260 same with pitch speed i have it anywhere from 150 all the way up to 180 but i'm liking it at 160. you do not need these four on i don't care what anyone says these do not help you whatsoever so if you have these on then you might as well just stop watching this video because you know you do not need these they don't help they ruin your gameplay and they kind of mess up all your settings and make it all look fancy but it's really not you're just adding loads of random stuff for literally no reason uh, ads your speed i have it on 100 ads turn switch i have this on 70 um sometimes i will turn it down like for now like you know i feel like 90 is a little bit too slow so i recommend keeping it anywhere from 100 to 120 where it does recommend same for this just keep it a little bit below or a little bit above um same again you don't need these four they absolutely ruin your aim and gameplay so if you have these on then please do not talk to me because you do not need these so please remove them now literally drop kick them out of the window like your parents would do when they threatened to take your ps4 away when you were a kid or if you still are one Okay, <laughs> now target compensation. Is that? Huh? Okay, okay. You know, not not gonna not gonna have a question. This is aim assist, by the way. If you didn't know, this is aim assist. Um, melee target. This is also aim assist, but for punching. Um, this is for you know if you want to lock on to PC players, I assume because I literally just read it. But I have that as default melee target compensation. I have that as on. Obviously, if you don't want to play with aim assist, look, 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 if you don't want to play with aim assist, you're gonna see the difference. Look, if I shoot, it's not gonna track on you. See, so hold on, let me let me get some ammo just to show you really quickly that this is aim assist. So look, you think I'm gonna shoot? It doesn't like it doesn't move at all. You see how my cursor isn't like locking on. I'm just moving from side to side. You see that? Look, look. If I just if I just move like this, it doesn't lock onto them. So make sure 
that you play with this on. And if you've been playing with it off, well, then you're probably the world's greatest Apex Legends player. Moving on to the per optics, you get a special aim assist from anywhere from 1.6 to 1.8. So I like to keep my per optics sight at 1 as 1.6. And then, likewise, for the rest, just copy that down. Sweet. Right, now that we've finished with that, let's go to video brightness. Um, uh, brightness, whatever you want, I don't care. I have no idea what I'm saying now. Um, field of view, have it as 110, you want to make sure it's the furthest away. FOV, uh, have it as enabled. Sprint view shake, have it as minimal because, you know, you do not want to have that bad boy uh, on. Okay, master volume, obviously, it just depends if you're a streamer, you like listening to teammates, having an absolute ear rave down the mic. It completely depends and is obviously up to you. Um, yeah, that is about it. If you do enjoy the, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to smack like button, subscribe. I just realised that I made a thumbnail for season nine settings when it is about to go season ten. Interesting one else, and I can't even edit it because the editing is where I use. But yeah, it's been your wheels. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Please follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.